to be your Chamber President and CEO. Thanks to Guardian Northwest Title for their sponsorship of this program, and also Trends Media Vision USA for their fabulous video production. 2021 was a very good year for the Chamber. But wait, you say, the pandemic continued to affect us throughout the year, except for the period of time in the summer and fall that felt like spring. Businesses haven't fully recovered, and you weren't able to do that many in-person programs. Yes, you, you are right about those things, but, but here's the deal. We were very clear on the Chamber's goals, and we made strong progress toward achieving them. As you hear us mention some of the main programs and services we provided this past year, please recognize that they are all aligned with our key objectives. Our first clear and obvious purpose is to help businesses to survive through tough times and ultimately to thrive. We do that through building relationships and advocacy, which is also a goal. Another emphasis is to continue to advance inclusiveness and diversity in our chamber and our community. Community prosperity is our ultimate goal and is interdependent with the success of your business. Finally, we are focused on sustaining and growing our membership. My piece of our effort starts with working with the chamber board. Their clear strategic direction allowed us to go full steam ahead this past year because it's a lot easier to figure out how to reach your destination if you know what it is. I also work in our government affairs and advocacy efforts. They have allowed us to identify the most important issues and challenges facing our businesses and communities and to utilize our relationships on the local, state, and federal levels to find solutions. One highlight in the advocacy arena is the formation of the Skagit Chamber Alliance. It is the six chambers in Skagit County representing approximately 1,800 businesses communicating what's important to us with one voice. Before I pass the microphone, I wanna tell you how much I appreciate the efforts of the Chamber staff this past year. Hillary, Jeremy, Marinius, and Sylvia really stepped up at a time when they could have coasted. They even created new programs, events, and initiatives. They are why our Chamber is doing so well. They are all committed to the values and the goals we've developed together and constantly demonstrate it professionally and personally. I don't have time to list all of the boards, committees, organizations, and volunteer services that they and I work on. They are in the areas of food, shelter, youth, education, workforce development, recreation, and professional development. We do these things because they are important to the chamber, our businesses, and the community. Thank you. Jeremy? Hello, Jeremy Kinland, Operations Director for the Mount Vernon Chamber of Commerce. I'd like to start by thanking all of you for your continued support of the Chamber. In 2021, our community worked through different challenges and uncertainty. Through this turmoil, we have grown stronger and have adapted to the new times, using different resources and technology to always be present for our members and community. We united efforts with the City of Mount Vernon, Skagit Valley College, and the historic Lincoln Theatre to produce a family-friendly event that would bring the community together in a safe manner. In April, we launched the Mount Vernon Drive-In Movie Nights. We presented five movies, one of them in Spanish, all of them with great attendance. We continued to make a tangible impact on our local economy. We brought the Riverwalk Summer Concert Series back, which once again put downtown Mount Vernon in the spotlight as an area to dine, shop, and have fun. In partnership with the Mount Vernon Downtown Association, we successfully launched our Shop Local campaigns, which brought in well over $50,000 in sales to Mount Vernon businesses. In partnership with all the other chambers in Skagit County and the Economic Development Alliance of Skagit County, we launched the Justice, Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Series. We feel very strongly about these issues and are thrilled to offer this training to our members and community. Look for this series to return in 2022. 
Together with our fellow Chambers of Commerce, last summer we hosted our multi-chamber after hours and Mount Vernon appreciation event in August, which gave us the opportunity to thank in person our chamber members and community partners. Let's not forget about the Battle of the Bridge Golf Tournament in partnership with the Burlington Chamber of Commerce. We are keeping an optimistic view and you can rest assured we are doing our best to support you in any way. And please reach out anytime to express your needs, concerns, or just say hi. Thanks again. Now let's hear from Sylvia Reed. Hello, I'm Sylvia Reed, Business Development and Foundation Director for the Mount Vernon Chamber of Commerce. To better address the ever-changing needs of our business community, in early 2021, we hosted listening sessions in English and Spanish. Throughout the year and following health guidelines, we continue visiting our businesses and launch new programs to help them navigate the new challenges. In March of last year, we launched our first Chamber Referral Program, Chamber Connections, which allow its members to deepen their business relationships and expand on the power of networking. Members came from Skagit, Whatcom, Snohomish and Island County, representing the regional nature of the Mount Vernon Chamber. Working towards a more inclusive community, our team attended diversity, equity and inclusion training and participating in various DEI efforts within our community. The Latino Business Leaders Program expanded its services, which now includes monthly business training and individual consultations with our partners from SCORE. All in Spanish, the Mount Vernon Chamber was also the facilitator for the diversity session at the annual Washington Business Fair. In partnership with Skagit Valley College and the Northwest Workforce Council, the Chamber Foundation delivered career panels for our new and upcoming workforce. Most of their participants will soon join the labor market. We became a grant recipient of the Holly Frontier Puget Sound Refinery, were awarded a Puget Sound Energy Powerful Partner Grant, and were named the Partner of the Quarter for Job Corps at the national level. As part of the Hiring for Heroes program, we are now helping connect our service members, military spouses, and veterans with fellowship opportunities for a strong and diversified workforce. Although our day-to-day -day life may have changed for the time being, we are here to continue serving our business community with new programs and initiatives, and always with the well-being of our community in mind. Thank you to all of you, our members, our partners, and our community. Hello, my name is Blake Rollins with Guardian Northwest Tile and Escrow. It is an honor to sponsor this year's Mount Vernon Chamber Annual Business Awards. As longtime member and Chamber Ambassador, I can honestly say the community of businesses that make up this wonderful organization is one of the most supportive and creative groups I've been involved with, as proven in the last years. On behalf of Guardian Northwest Tile and Escrow, I would like to give appreciation to the Mount Vernon Chamber of Commerce and everyone that made the 2021 awards possible. Congratulations to everyone today. We at Transmedia Vision are really proud to be the production sponsor in this event, which highlights business excellence and the wonderful community spirit that we have here in Mount Vernon. We plan, develop and produce media content that supports organizations' ability to connect, communicate, uplift our community. We also work with organizations to effectively fundraise in support of their important work. But wait, there is more. We also produce local programs on really interesting subjects here in our county and beyond. So stop by and visit our channel at tmvwatch.com. Now let's hear from David Lukoff, our immediate past chairperson. David? My name is David Lukoff. I am the outgoing chair of the board of directors for the Mount Vernon Chamber. I think 2021 has certainly brought challenges. I think by this time last year, we thought COVID would be behind us and we'd be thriving again, but it's not so much the case. Uh, as we've struggled with employment, uh, finding positions for people, as we've struggled with housing and childcare, we've certainly done our job with the Chamber to try to connect with other groups and help make this part of our vision to help solve these ongoing problems. The goal of the Mount Vernon Chamber is simple, to build a vibrant, healthy community. And so that remains our goal as we move forward in the coming year. I want to thank uh, a number of people who have been a real asset 
to the Mount Vernon Chamber Board, to uh, Brian Ivey, the Executive Director of Skagit Regional Health, of Rhonda Tingley, who's the branch manager at Savvy Bank in Mount Vernon, to Doobie Pettit, who is with the Skagit Herald, and then the other members of our board, Arden Ainley, who is with Skagit Valley College, Viri Delgado, who's the owner and operator of Koa Restaurant, Diane Fox, owner and operator of All About Hearing, Peter Donovan, who works for the city of Mount Vernon, Todd Ainsley, the owner and operator of Farmstrong Brewery, Flora Lucitero, the executive director of Children of the Valley, Jesse Lopez, owner and operator of Infinity Renovations and Painting, Dr. Amanda Rensselaer, dentist and owner of Roosevelt Dental Clinic, Robert Knoll with Puget Sound Energy, Tammy Rhyme Ledbetter, branch manager at Alaska USA, and John Rundgren, who is with the Mount Vernon School District. Thank you for your service and your dedication during this past year. And now I'm delighted to turn the gavel over to uh, this coming, this year's chairperson of the board, Bill Hinkle. And Bill, thank you for your leadership and assistance during the past year. Thanks, David. Hi, I'm Bill Hinkle, Executive Director, Community Action of Skagit County. I've had the honor and pleasure of serving on the Mount Vernon Chamber Board for over six years, this year as board chair. I'm also pleased to announce our Chamber Board 2022 Executive Committee, Chair-elect Brian Ivey, Skagit Regional Health, Treasurer Rhonda Tingley from Savvy Bank, at-large Representative Doobie Pettit from Skagit Publishing, and past president David Lukov from Kern Funeral Home. As well as our two new board members, Andrew Miller from Tulip Town and Tony White from Skagit Valley Food Co-op. I'm blessed to be able to serve with and besides them. The mark of a great organization is, is its ability to not only survive during a crisis, but to thrive. This describes the Mount Vernon Chamber perfectly. It is striving because of its extraordinary, warm, and professional staff team. It's striving because of its diverse and engaged board of directors. And it's striving mostly because of your creativity and resilience, each and all of you. My goal is that the Chamber will continue to support and encourage your creativity and resilience, as well as the vitality and resilience of our community. By sharing the information and resources you need, by providing opportunities to expand your networks and connections, by partnering to help drive positive change, and by joining forces on issues that matter to us all. So thank you for being a part of this amazing chamber and for all that you do to serve this community. The Ambassador of the Year Award is presented to the Chamber member who has demonstrated outstanding participation, enthusiasm and leadership in the various roles of the Chamber Ambassador, including serving as a host at Chamber events in person and virtual. Born in Rhode Island, but a Washington local for several decades, our Ambassador of the Year graduated from Washington State University with a degree in Hotel and Restaurant Administration. Later, he moved to North Seattle, where he grew by Lake Washington, spending several years on Whitby Island, and now we are very fortunate to have him as a Skagit County neighbor. Our 2021 Ambassador of the Year is Phil Thornley of Primerica. Enthusiasm, genuine and servant leadership are some of the many gifts of our Ambassador of the Year. His mother, Margo L. Thornley was a school teacher who founded the Camelon Society in King County in 1970 to provide quality residential services for children with developmental disabilities, a cause that is very close to Phil's heart. In times where the personal connection has somehow changed, our award winner, Phil Thornley, has found a way to not only be a welcoming face for our new members, but a powerful connector in our community. 
a go-giver by nature and an exemplary volunteer, Phil cares about helping others both through his role at Primerica and as a chamber ambassador. He is constantly supporting those around him to reach their full potential. Congratulations, Phil, and a heartfelt thank you from all of us for being such an incredible asset in our business community and in the Mount Vernon Chamber. Hello, uh, Phil Thornley here. I'm so happy to receive this award from the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, it's like I've always said, it's like putting uh, things into a bank account, you know, money into a bank account, what you put in, you're going to receive back. So uh, I just want to thank again the Chamber of Commerce for uh, this awesome award of Ambassador of the Year. And uh, you know, with our company, we're all about helping people and, and at Primerica, and we, we love to help people. And I know the Chamber has the same philosophy. So thanks again for um, this award. The Ambassador Program is a wonderful program for someone like myself that was uh, new to the Chamber. It was, it's a great opportunity to um, meet other business people, businesses, owners, and people in the community when uh, I didn't have a chance to do that before in my previous work. So joining the Ambassador team has allowed me to do that and it really allows me to connect with each one of those businesses and welcome them to the Chamber themselves. The Rising Star is a chamber member with less than three years in business who has excelled in rising their business goals and is becoming a business role model in the community. Our 2021 Rising Star, Julia Phillips of Sisters Espresso and Whistle Stop Coffee Shop. With several years of experience in the real estate industry as the owner of Julia Phillips Realty, our Rising Star is a change maker, a doer and a powerhouse. Julia has not only navigated through many challenging waters in her life, but has transformed them into fuel to empower women and help create a better tomorrow for marginalized populations. In addition to successfully running her real estate business, in October 2000, Julia became the new owner of Sisters Espresso, a charming drive through coffee shop in Bow, and in 2021 became the new owner of Whistle Stop Coffee Shop in downtown Mount Vernon. Under Julia's ownership, Sisters Espresso has become a transformative experience for several of her team members. Julia empowers her team to believe in their self, gain and cultivate new skills that will allow them to build a better life for themselves and their families. Julia is a firm believer that everyone deserves a second chance and that in the, with the right support, we can create a better future. Julia is passionate about helping those battling addictions and mental disabilities. During the holiday season, it is not uncommon to find her shopping for toys for those who are less fortunate. Yulia is a voice for marginalized populations, people facing disadvantages, and is passionate about building a more inclusive and diverse community. Congratulations, Yulia Phillips, and thank you for being a role model and a leader in our community. Hi, I'm Julia Phillip. I own Julia Phillip Realty as well as Sisters Espresso and Whistle Stop Espresso. I want to thank the Chamber of Commerce for their awesome award. It's the Rising Star Award for 2021 for Sisters Espresso. We've been open um, just over a year now and are super excited to be part of the community. It's, it has been difficult. Um, we went through a phase of staffing issues like everybody else in the county. I think that myself and my manager, Katie, um, who is my backbone, uh, we just keep plugging away. We take a challenge and we rise above it. Um, products are hard to find, but I know that other restaurants and espresso shops are having issues with that as well. Uh, we just really love what we do and being part of the community, so we keep we keep moving on. So I live in Bow, and that's where Sisters Espresso is. It is probably, in almost 50 years of being alive, the one place that I have ever felt welcome. It's such a great community. Skagit County as a whole is amazing. Um, our downtown shop, Whistle Stop, um, excellent being part of all the different aspects of Skagit County. So we thank all of our customers, all of our locals, all of our regulars, and everybody who just comes by and, and tries us out.
The Making a Difference Award recipient is an outstanding contributor to the Chamber and the community while demonstrating exemplary professionalism. Our Making a Difference Award recipient has made an incredible difference by helping transform people's lives into ones of self-sufficiency and abundance. This person is driven to help solve a complex set of challenges through innovative solutions with the relentless energy and determination. Our 2021 Making a Difference Award recipient is Tina Tate, Executive Director of Friendship House. Helping those affected by being homeless is a passion for Tina. Through her personal commitment and the many components of the Friendship House program, she has indeed made a tremendous difference. That vision and hard work to expand the programs and facilities at Friendship House have been remarkable. They now include two clean and sober emergency shelters, one transitional house, one permanent low-income shared living house, a daily meal service, and an innovative employment training program. Tina, your accomplishments are truly making a difference to the people you serve and to our community. Thank you. I'd like to thank everyone at the Mount Vernon Chamber for voting for me for the Making a Difference Award. This award really means a lot to me. In my life, I strive to make our community better. And I think I've done that with working with Friendship House in starting the First Step Center this year. This is the first low barrier shelter in Skagit County, and it's serving the most in need on our streets and giving those people that first step to making their lives better. So thank you so much for this. Thank you, Mount Vernon Chamber, for making it all possible. Cheers. The Business Person of the Year Award is presented in recognition to a business innovation and success along with supporting the Chamber and the community. Our Business Person of the Year epitomizes what the award is all about. They have a strong underlying sense of purpose in all that they do, which guides them personally and professionally. Both of those efforts benefit the community significantly. Their clear sense of purpose guides them in their work and in their civic commitments. Our 2021 Business Person of the Year is Julie Blazek, partner and co-owner of HKP Architects. Julie's commitment and service to our community is longstanding and diverse. Her knowledge, skills, and sustainable practices are making a difference. She has continued the legacy of HKP Architects, the 70-year-old firm founded in Mount Vernon with the values of honesty, simplicity, and service. The firm's history providing architectural design that is high value, environmentally responsible, and sensitive to its site is already evident in the planning and design work that Julie and the firm are doing in the exciting Mount Vernon Library Commons project. Julie is a visionary, a firm supporter of economic vitality at the local and regional level. She currently serves on the Mount Vernon Arts Commission and has been active and supportive of the Mount Vernon Downtown Association. She is a former board chair of the Economic Development Alliance of Skagit County and a Skagit Regional Health Commissioner since 2017, a role that has been vital in our current times. Julie is a supporter of the Skagit Women's Alliance Network, a role model for women who aspire to become community leaders and is an advocate for inclusion and diversity and the LGBTQA community. Thank you, Julie, for all you have done and continue to do for our community. Well, my name is Julie Blazek. I'm a partner at HKP Architects and I want to thank the Chamber for this uh, really, really incredible award. HKP Architects is a 70-year-old design firm that's deeply rooted in Skagit Valley. And we work on a lot of different kinds of public projects and private projects and a lot of our work has a lot of meaning for us in this community and um, it's the kind of work that we love doing. I think uh, people have heard me say this before but Brian and I were um, trained as architects we weren't trained as business people so we've kind of had to make up running a business um, as we've gone and I think that we just try to focus on creating the kind of environment where each of us would want to work 
to try to foster uh, that kind of culture and support with our entire team. The, one of the reasons that I came up to this job um, originally when Henry was still running the firm because it was so deeply rooted in the community and we were able to kind of work in a small, rural, beautiful environment and still work on really important, meaningful public projects. And we've just been trying to keep that going and try to leverage that as much as we can. I'm not going to make you guess who our business of the year is by dangling some clues because you would figure it out immediately. Our 2021 so very deserving business of the year is the Skagit Valley Food Co-op. The co-op has not been immune to the challenges that all businesses have faced over the last two years. But despite those difficulties, they have continued to be the vital anchor for business in our downtown with values and principles that go beyond the bottom line. That's not surprising because they have been building on the straightforward promise of serving their members and the community by providing good food at a fair price for almost 50 years. That longevity and special character and diverse offerings are known far and wide. I can't tell you how often when I meet people from around the state and beyond, they tell me, oh, Mount Vernon, I love your food co-op. Despite that outstanding recognition and history of success, the co-op has rededicated itself to being financially sound while engaging its members, employees, and the community. Over the last two years, they have achieved remarkable progress on each principle and currently have over 23,000 member owner households. The co-op's community giving has been particularly noteworthy and very generous. A couple of examples are then on the fourth Friday of each month, they donate 4% of the day's sales to designated local nonprofits. And the Tokens for Tomorrow program also allows customers to direct money toward local organizations like the Anna Cordes Middle School Garden to Kitchen program, Children of the Valley, Skagit Animals in Need, and Skagit Land Trust. The co-op supports many other community efforts, including the Chamber's Riverwalk Summer Concert Series. You may not know that the co-op has a new general manager. Tony White took the reins of the organization at the beginning of 2020, of course not aware of what was ahead for him. His strong leadership, very much characterized by a team approach, has been vital for the co-op. Thank you, Tony, and your entire team for all that you do for our community and the values that you represent. You are an especially deserving business of the year. Hi, uh, my name is Tony White. I am the uh, general manager at the Skagit Valley Food Co-op here in Mount Vernon. And uh, I was honored to find out that uh, the uh, Chamber of Commerce has elected us as Business of the Year for 2021. Uh, it's an honor to be the leader of an organization that uh, I believe is just like ingrained in this community. And during this uh, last couple of years, I think we really showed that we were resilient and that we became one of the leaders of uh, the COVID uh, struggles. And uh, I think that overall that uh, our membership our employees, they just uh, really demonstrated incredible uh, you know, versatility and uh, resiliency. And, I, and I, it's an honor to, be, uh, to get this award. It's, it's uh, you know, 13,000 active shoppers every day, and I think that uh, the members supported us. But uh, I really couldn't have done any of this uh, without the staff, and uh, I just really uh, am tickled to be getting this award. It's uh, and been a tough couple of years. This uh, puts a smile on my face.